All right, do you want to start the game again? So this is actually before and after <clears throat> um, mastering the struck. So there's going to be a compression stage. I had to bounce this out to use plugins on my other computer yeah. that are not on this one. But it's all like adding noise and thickening and stuff. Starting soon. Hi, Aviron. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I have chat in front of me. I was watching the Nest dude. He's playing Guitar Hero. He's very good at the Guitar Hero. Uh, you are watching me. I am listening to you. Hello. Uh, hi. My friend Dog in 3 is also watching. We're friends, him and me. <clears throat> I can never get Guitar Hero. You know, Guitar Hero, um, I was playing guitar for a while before Guitar Hero came out. And it became a kind of mutually beneficial practice to uh, do the Guitar Hero and to do the other thing, uh, play guitar, you know, helping each other out. I got a message from Mint Potion. Let's see what Team Ad's about. Oh, I'm not rebroadcasting on purpose. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Let's get uh, this thing open. Listen to my wonderful mouth noises. Um, let's see. The game that basically taught you how to play guitar by having buttons, but went in similar locations. Rocksmith, maybe. We had Rocksmith. We had a Rocksmith stream like way, way, way back. Um, and didn't really stick to it, which is, I don't know. I think it was a matter of just getting everything kind of configured correctly. There was a lot of latency. Um, but it's a pretty good game. It like does the, the pitch detection pretty well. Um, yeah. But also the exercises in that are pretty good, like all in all. In all. I highly recommend it. I need to be careful about Nest Dude over here. Nest Dude. So I got all my stuff up. Let's see. Do, do, do. I wanted to look through here real quick. Go through the suggestions. Everyone, my potion is live. Look at this guy. What a good guy. What is up here? All right. Because it was the suggestion box zone. It's like you can vote for one thing. <clears throat> Should we do track review streams? Yeah. I think we should do track review streams. I'm going to vote. We've reduced functionality. Everyone says, yep. Nine out of nine <coughs> Discord dudes say, yeah. Yo, use a Nightbot giveaway to control track submissions. Um, let's see. I think it's like this. Uh, nope. I think it's winner. The winner! <laughs> All right, the winner is Avion N N N N N. Yo, there we go. <laughs> You're even following this channel. Cool. Um, I don't know who else is here ready to submit tracks. We definitely have the time, as we will not be doing dog tracks and ADD drumming today. Um, we have to repair. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, so in the Nightbot commands, um, I can filter out. Um, I can filter out people who aren't following the channel. You don't have any tracks to submit. Well, maybe we'll pick someone else. Hopefully other people are watching. Um, where is, where are uh, the things? I want to log in with Twitch using secret Twitch password. I don't, I can't do that with this character. Well, if you don't have a track to submit, we have to pick another winner. The winner is me, me. How many people are watching? <laughs> it's like me, Avion, and TMAD. Atorix here, hello. LZ Epsilon, hello, welcome. Mint Potion is watching. Creepy. All right, cool. We're gonna do it. Um, I guess the you know the only thing that I have to review is the, this process. I sent this to Discord earlier today. Um, oh, there is a giveaway. Oh, hi, hi everybody. Um, so this is like the the process of thickening up this track. So I have the unthick version and I have the thick version. I actually took the screenshot on this computer. Using the Pokemon typeface, yeah. 
so like here is basically where that took place i have that guy and i have this guy right and they're the same track they will totally blow up each other out um and we can talk a little bit about like i sent this up earlier and team ad is like oh my gosh you gotta make that more lo-fi hey hi hey Torek, i gotta talk to you man uh send me an email or something um i'm thinking about you man does anyone have anything to submit? Because all I have is this track that you listened to at the beginning of the stream. I made it this morning! Um, and we can talk a little bit about how to go from this, which is pretty, like, it's pretty thin. I really didn't add anything to the track after, like, do, after writing it here. Like, it's actually... No, I mastered this in Ableton. Yeah, I'm playing it on Audacity just to show the, just the AV, like, before Master. I have this kind of, like, you know, kind of like what Team Ad was saying the other day. If you were listening to the, um, to the listening party for the Synthwave tracks, um, Team Ad had some really good points about, like, mixing low and giving yourself a lot of, play, a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of space, a lot of, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Ugh. Headroom, there you go. So headroom to kind of boost up the parts that you want in the mix. Like once you have the essential sound that's there and then a little bit of reverb and a whole lot of love later. So it's wider. Um, it's got more detail. It, I did add like a tape flutter But it is effectively the same track. Right? Uh, we can talk a bit about the patterns, because I do actually have that project on this machine. But I mean I can't really I can't really like rate my own tracks or review that old thing. Um, we could look at tracks from the listening party. I do want to start collecting those. I don't know if it's on Mint Potion's SoundCloud. It might be. Or Bandcamp, for that matter. Uh, let's see. I guess it's Mint Potion Bandcamp. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that looks amazing. So yeah, we should have more of these. Bard Cancel Art to Music. Bard Cancel 80s. I wonder if Sophie's been cleaning these up. She should be. Got OK KO Music, which is, which is all right. <clears throat> um, notification. Oh, S-Y-O. S-Y-O is a neat dude. But I guess we haven't put up more stuff here yet. It's been a while. <clears throat> Small window. Look at all ten of these songs. <sighs> How is a piano sound like this made? Is it a regular piano melody that has had the volume automated? Man, we are so I'm so fortunate that I can answer that question at this computer. Because I have that project <laughs> right here. So let's talk about it. So the piano is using there's like a electric piano modeler instrument in Ableton called electric so in your if you're using live you might not some people don't use live um, if you're using live under instruments you have this electric dude and I need to plug in my MIDI keyboard so give me just a second <coughs> quick 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 You know, I had a I had a computer, like I had a laptop that if you accidentally like plugged a headphone jack into like a like not plugged in, but if you touched a headphone jack to a USB port, the whole computer would short out and shut down. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. 
It took me like years to discover that that is what was going on. It was like, oh, your computer is just, it's just off. Yeah. Hey, we're back. All right. So let's see. The VOD is on the channel. Hi, I'm Angry Crow. I set up a giveaway thing, which works with tracks and then let's try it out. It didn't do anything. Maybe people have to submit tracks first. I don't know. Um, I'll keep an eye on you, chat. I saw address as a epsilon. It's all right, team Matt. I believe in you. What is that face called? No one W. It's pretty good. So there's this instrument here. Oh, you know what? I need Ableton to like send audio to the stream. You can't just be like, you can't just be sending audio to this audio box. Let's send it to this black magic HDMI thing. Okay. Oh, and we're also using like Windows, so we can't hop swap MIDI controllers. <laughs> this is the first time that that has bugged me. Maybe we have to redo the stream. Ah, that's a good question. We're going to have to redo everything. I'm going to upgrade Wirecast to 8.2. We downloaded it, but I forgot to install it. Because. Don't question my methods. Ooh, maybe I'll get into some Max for Life stuff as we wait for tracks to roll in. I like the tutorials. We should just do the basics. Do, do I have Max for Life patches in the, the thing? I do. My 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 beautiful solo arm mute, mute. Yeah, yeah, look at you. You're so beautiful. <laughs> my surface to air missile for Ableton Live. Yeah. I'm not going to save changes to this untitled scene. But I think the way to do it is to go through Nightbot's giveaways page. Okay. Wait, what? Maybe I should sign in as Mint Potion. This is not me. Uh, what's my password for virtual entry? I'm gonna have to do that on the low key or get somebody else to type it in for me. I can't remember what it is. So, is this thing on? Seriously, dog? You're plugged in and everything? <laughs> Link MIDI. Oh, it doesn't detect any keyboards. <coughs> sure, buddy. You know, I'm not going to battle this. I'm afraid of these USB ports. I'm afraid there's just like static cling kicking around all over the place. <clears throat> Good. Now I'm not even going to fight the MIDI anymore. We got this. Um, I was just going to demonstrate. I can do this. I can put in keyboard mode. So there's quite a few things going on with this instrument. By default, like I think I picked a yeah a dirty piano preset for electric. <clears throat> a little bit of vinyl an auto filter and by itself it doesn't really sound too remarkable because we have Boba. this kind of dry Boba, this here. dog is crazy this dog's going crazy hey, come here. This, dog, this dog's going crazy so it's a pretty simple sounding electric piano elza epsilon yay and um i guess I have a kind of standard sense, but I think the key characteristic of this sound is this r is this this EQ before delay. Because the higher the sound is, it'll fit more. <coughs> pardon me, into um, into what we are looking for. Live is being pretty quiet. Oh, embarrassment. That's not, that's not pretty loud. I got an idea. 
Better? That should do. No, it's way quiet. This should work. A bit better. How much more should I go? Let me know. In the in the chat. Alright, we'll see. Alright, let's unsolo you. Let me know, let me know. Kinda, maybe, sorta. To me it sounds way loud, but I also have like, I also have control. It's good. Okay, cool. So, let's talk about this piano. That's why I came in here. So I got this piano setting. A Little bit of distortion. That, this is like that crackling, right? <laughs> what? And auto filter to make a kind of wall effect. And over time. <clears throat> This thing is quantized to quarter notes. And so this part here that's being pinched, um, like boosting the end of this, this filter, this envelope, is practically all of it's being sent out to this reverb or to this echo. So when all that stuff is on, we get like a really ringy area here. Could use a boost considering that we'll be hearing other people's tracks. Yes. Let's do that. I'm kind of worried, but I should fear nothing. I got I got chat on my side. We'll be all right. So, probably go further. It's really hard to tell with Still kind of quiet. Let's see. Gotta use that mint option. <clears throat> this is okay. So anyway, the piano. Is just that texture. This. I think it's that chord. <coughs> Pardon, I don't want to cough all over the place. It's terrible. It's a good thing I know where that mute button is. <clears throat> all right. Uh, let me let this play for a sec so I can make sure the levels are good. I have a guy for that, but <clears throat> I don't know. He's, he's probably fixing his setup. Uh, so, team, I just send me the message. It'll take about, <clears throat> you know, eight seconds or so to loop back.
side by side. Play side by side. Trying to, I'm looking at our meter here. I think I need to turn me down. But that's me. Track your submits. So as a salon, <clears throat> there's a little bit of um, delay that's kind of being boosted by this auto filter. It's a wah sound. It only really works while it's playing because the LFO. And uh, we can actually choose kind of how that works. the original setting is, but the only thing he'd need to restart the stream would be audio, video, recording settings. Uh, <clears throat> What's going on here? Uh, should we restart the stream? Oh. It works. It works? What? Well, let's have a look. Let's try it out. Does it send me like a personal message or something? Did I spell that wrong? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, fair enough. <clears throat> That's just the, I think the winner will probably be. So an oscillating filter, yes. I'll, the winner is Elza Epsilon. Um, yes, is this envelope on an auto filter or a like envelope it's like an envelope follow let's get rid of this final distortion because that's a noise the depth here of this LFO instead of just adapting to this envelope here you can hear it like you can hear the envelope kind of sweep, either positively or negatively, right? So now I can hear it kind of scooping up on the attack of every note that it gets. Or I can have that same, like, notch sweep down. Of course, we don't want it to be that harsh. And then that, with the timed effect, Oh, another thing I should mention is like this kind of spin, this kind of spin area. Like it kind of sounds like water without the... Uh, I just want you, man. Just you. I guess, yeah. Hey, it worked. I need to set up giveaways. I gotta do it.
Um, let's see. All right, you know what? I want to figure out how to sign into this this guy right here. Can anyone guess what the password is? No. <laughs> I thought so too, but apparently not. Maybe. I don't have like a... <clears throat> I know what I could do is uh... <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide my screen for a second here. Unless I can, maybe I can do it here on my phone. Hey Siri, what? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what's my password for Mint Potions Twitch account? Drow zap. Does this kind of sound like waiting music? I thought this was ad. I do want to set up giveaways. And you guys should get tracks ready. Whoever's around. Whoever's around, get a track ready. Oh, there's like a bunch of people. Man, I hope you guys have tracks. I'm going to call you out one at a time. Unless you're a moderator, then you can do what you're dang, do what you're dang well, please. <clears throat> Some of you are new. Maybe D Power 07 has a track. The power of the D. <clears throat> Octanode. X X D bot. Why you should have your own Twitter bot. <clears throat> um it's just It's pretty cool wedding music. Sorry, I'm transcribing. Log in, I know, log in, oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay, we're gonna log in. Really, that's the password. Okay. So it's mint potion. And then that's the password. Got it. I just wanted to go into Nightbot and figure out what's going on with giveaways. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys. So we're in the uh, we're in the giveaway back end. What's this? We're working together. All right, so a subscriber gets no extra luck. Regulars do get extra luck. Is that fair? Subscriber gets slightly extra luck. No, that's some bullshit. Um, let's see. Is this only moderators can do this thing? Max64, what are we going to do? Who are you? Active timeout. Oh, Within the last five minutes, I mean, we do a whole lot of nothing. I'll, I'll bump it up to 10. Um, and then is that it? Reset eligibility. Nobody is eligible. I think, uh, right? Mods shouldn't be eligible. Users, users should be eligible. Maybe, you know, don't get extra luck. <laughs> How did you make this short melody loop and stay interesting like this? Well, I picked this this thing to loop. Um, I don't know if it's like part of a longer a longer loop. It looks like I just played out 
Oh, there is more, but it didn't sound good. Perfect. Let's show it off. Um, all right. So I had something like, I don't know. Oh, K, S. No, 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 no. Why is it playing the drum? Let's just talk about this. I guess bad timing. Yeah, and this is the part that I didn't keep. So, I don't know. Um, I guess the interesting part is there's a there's a kind of a chord that supports it. I don't I don't know. I cannot describe that qualitatively. Um I can send you like a ringtone of it if you like. <laughs> I definitely like the filtered out version. I think that's that's pretty satisfying. It's very quiet. Um, but yeah, that's just noodling, which I would do if my keyboard didn't didn't just suck. Uh, what the chords are. Bad timing is good timing. Should I click on this? Is this, is this bad timing? Handsome Jake. Who's Handsome Jake? Is this you? Hey, Torque, are you the guy? Uh, this is a review stream. Hi, let me make this more obvious. Elevator music has unfair <laughs> reputation. That's my alter ego in Newgrounds. In high school. Sweet. Okay, cool. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Do I just run, do I roll for a winner? The winner's a Toric. Go figure. All right, let's listen to this stuff. Handsome Drake. Are these all, I got, how far back should we go? Is this you? It's kind of hard to tell because everything has got, I'm afraid. You ever get that feeling like it's not playing from the right device? You know what I mean? Just, just, just a guess. Try that one again.
So Matt, what can we say about this track, man? Do you like the cats? Is that what they were? Those are cats, I think. They look like a Chinese food shop. Sounded like a Chinese food shop. Okay. Uh, nah, man, it's cool. I like it. Um, like, what's the, what's the idea behind it? Like, is it music? Or yeah, it's a game. It's a game that. <clears throat> They're working on uh, a toric design. I like the uh, for Beam music. Yeah, I think it's a fun. I think it's like a fun. Uh, what you call it? Like it's just like a, like a dope little uh, something that gives you like a beat or something. Or, uh, lighthearted. It it gets it gets pretty it gets pretty serious. You know, it gets pretty thick. These cats kind of take over. Yeah. Um, and I think that the game could be about the cat takeover. I think everyone should be, all everyone except for channel moderators there should be eligible. But that's like half of our viewership right there. Let's roll it. Atoric has won the giveaway. <clears throat> well, lucky him. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play the next track from Atoric. Um, I would say maybe widen up the track. Give your cat some space, you know? Do you... I don't remember what tool you're using. Um, <laughs> but we're going to listen to the first one. I don't know how you're... I don't know what you're using for 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 your your music music creation. But um, we'll definitely... Reason. Yeah, we should we should we should do some some spacing. But I could be wrong. I mean, you could already have a handle on this, and this is like this is just what you what you 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 already got it under control. That's the other thing is at a certain level of like ability. We're still we're still we're working on it. I'm I'm not sure yet. I think you're supposed to. I think you're supposed to set and. I think you're supposed to say track submit. Like this, and then it's it adds you to the the poll. <coughs> I think <coughs> let's say if I were to cancel this, I have a keyword based giveaway. The keyword should be track submit, and then I kind of just wish I could press up like every other thing. Uh, if I but it doesn't say like, "Hey man, you're eligible." Like, try it without the exclamation point. I'm feeling you, like in the panel, yeah. And so that means that there are eight. Oh, I see. Because maybe this shows the people who are in the chat, and then like the people who actually have pressed track submit. Like, do I have? Oh, I see. So, Team Ad, I got an idea. While I'm listening to, while we're listening to the next track by Torque, um, I want to see because Mech sixty four did it, and then he showed up in the eligibility list, and I think that means it's working. So, yeah, you should be able to do the same thing. And I did delete the exclamation point. Um, so, yeah, just uh, here, type in your track submit, and then. It should mark you as eligible, right? Because it, it marked me. I'm going to reload this page. Oh, it's not that smart now, is it? That's hilarious. Okay, so it did catch you. It's so weird. Why you no work? This is, I don't know. This That's why we got to listen to, we just listen to these sassy cats. Uh, we're gonna listen to Torek's bag here. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's that flange. Word. Bass is hot.
lot to say about this as a as a Vitz guy. Um, so you're taking like this idea of like your groove here. repurposing each section of it to fill out your arrangement to get to the two to three minute range. And you're more than aware of that. Like you do this thing over here. We have like the same part, the A loop. type of transition, the same with like the beginning too. Like you can tell these are like four four bar four four bar sections. And you're leading into the next section with this like kind of like pitch up flanging sound. introduce these parts kind of together and you're also doing like this thing where you have like a clip of your breakbeat that like my dad would say like you don't want to introduce parts in a way that you miss them or that you kind of like like something either sneaks up or is like you know makes itself known and I feel like this is two different parts that are very like very clearly, you know. Because that same thing happens over here. Even though I have a ring. So we must be using some kind of like sample playback. Pretty pitch. But yeah. Um, also the way that it's mixed is like, I would say probably four whatever speakers you're working with. And that's like when, you know, you talk about being like a noob at like mixing. <clears throat> oh, I see. Are you spamming? So too hot? Yes. So this is how, this is how your tracks get too hot. Let's say you have like little like bookshelf speakers or you're using your laptop speakers or whatever computer speakers, right? Um, and you want certain parts of that to come out, like the fat keys and the fat bass, right? You're going to make adjustments to your song while you're making while you're making it <clears throat> to compensate for the thing that you're listening to the track on. And that can get pretty troublesome pretty fast. Um I think you should get something like let's see. <clears throat> I'm just going to cough a lot more while I'm, I'm looking for a particular effect. This guy, Spectrum, Wham. It's something like spectrum or some kind of spectrum analysis because I want to see how loud this track is at any point which is neat so it shows me my peaks and it shows kind of the fall off of the tracks right pretty cool um, what areas of, of where are do are, are how powerful that's what this thing really stands for and this is actually mixed pretty low I can't like I can't make it I can't make it much much crazier than it is. There's this like middle section. It's got this weird weird shape. Have you ever looked at pink noise? This is yes. probably we of course yeah. <laughs> so pink noise is going to be let me grab that off of Dropbox. I think I have a pink noise lying around. I don't have massive on this computer. You don't? No. Wow. I have it on the other computer. Finally. People really dig that pink noise, man. <laughs> yeah, I think people can hear you, because I can hear you over my headset. Sure. I'm just saying. You don't even need a mic, is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Help us test our track submit, and let's try submissions again. Let's try hitting, is it track submit? I'm eligible, Team is eligible, Mech64 is eligible. 
Um, let's try to get a Torque, Avion, and Ez Epsilon right up in here. Because I'm pretty sure this is being updated live. I don't have to do anything crazy. I can change your eligibility. Yo. 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 I think it is actually working. Hey, do you have a track to submit? I want to hear it and talk about it with the people in chat and in the building and with Boba. But she's running away. So what I want to do, what I want to do, I want to get pink noise, pink noise. <clears throat> There's a very specific reason for this. Okay. Where's my desktop, man? I just, I just want to add the desktop. Okay. Uh, here we go. Cause I have for you pink noise. Okay. And pink noise. Is wonderful because let me just like loop it over here to the side. Maybe like on an audio channel that doesn't have any effects. <coughs> Pardon. So, wow. Pink noise sounds like this. The cool thing about pink noise is it shows kind of the fall off of like it's closer to how we can perceive like how we perceive different pitches right <clears throat> and so if you do not have like if you're not sure whether you are mixing loud enough or in a certain way um, you can see you can use another track as a reference point so this is negative 20 decibels, right? Or negative 30, I guess. I don't know if I've probably changed the channel. No, this should be right, right. Negative 20 decibels in this kind of even fall off, right? Where the low end is a little bit lower, you know, just like two or three. And the high end also had this weird fall off, right? Neat stuff, neat stuff. There's this kind of range, negative 64, negative 30, roughly. Um, and for other areas of this track, what is this? Undo. Oh, it's so quiet. Something is soloed up here. It's you. So what I normally do, I wonder if I could do this while this is playing, is you can actually loop, warp loop, and then play the arrangement. Crazy, right? And I can see the level of the song against pink noise and you can see pink noise kind of like flatten out oh this side flatten out the the high end right where like that scoop I had was you can see this kind of area come up and if you can kind of barely hear your track when you get to the point where you're at the default volume you can barely hear your track below the pink noise then you're at a really good space like I can still I can still kind of hear the bass I can hear the snare. I can kind of hear the kick, right? I can hear like a little bit of that key. And uh, this is a neat trick, isn't it? What? Way to get a print messages in chat when someone enters. What? Okay. Mint option, mint option. Hello, mint option. Okay, so a bunch of people are eligible. Um, let's roll it. The winner. Is me. That's not. I can't win. Team idea of a track. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> cool. Hey, do you have a track? Weeb Chandas. <clears throat> <laughs> I can disable moderators from being able to handle, like, from being able to being eligible. Yeah. <clears throat> How about Mech sixty four? You've won the giveaway. Everyone's winning the giveaway. Please post a link. Yes. And we will listen to your music. 
and discuss. But yes, to to close out my thought with um, a Torix track. So, dude, like, try using some type of like I have this file. I can send it to you. I can send it to you right now. Um, it's a really good reference material. Uh, copy link. Just f to mix against noise, um, will give you a little bit of a balance that you can kind of you can boost your track from there. Um, and it'll make, as a baseline for mixing, a lot, you know, things make a lot more sense. It's good stuff. Everything is coming in underneath this, you know, kind of as a tour for 20 amps. It's like negative 12-ish range. <clears throat> and that's good because we can boost it later. So, like, you know, it's the original point that I had. The difference between going from here, where everything is kind of, it's kind of low and tiny, I can boost that in the mastering process, the mixing process. So, you know, get you some noise. <clears throat> Let's get up this next track. It's on YouTube. Uh, what? I'm afraid. I think this is someone else's track. Do, 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 do. Unless this is Anger Fist. Anger Fist! Log in to listen for free! Weeb Chandess, I would appreciate, uh, yeah, it's kind of an extension of, yeah, <laughs> please, we're trying to, we're trying to look at tracks within the community, it's totally fine, but hey, if you make music, oh, okay, okay, well then we'll roll again, Max 64, you are the next person, do you have a, do you have a track that we can listen to that you probably made? Or did you want one of these hockey masks that are pretty creepy? The hole is just small enough for a puck to not fit through. It's pretty intense. Have you ever been to html5drummachine.com? How about this online multiplayer synth? You feel it? I'm just, I, you know, there has to be something else going on. They submitted their link where? All right. I'm looking. Ah, perfect. A link to a school project thing. I'll meet the HTML5 drum machine. Are you guys ready? I am. I need to reinstall. No, sorry. Thank you. 
That's pretty good. What'd you say? I guess. I don't know. I'd... Star Trek? Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. I don't I don't know much about Star Trek. Did you know that Mad Cat's here and also gone? Next 64. What project is this lunar hallway work in progress dot wave? You said it had something to do with school. Are you making an installation of creepy lunar hallway things? I need to know. Uh, oh, look, I should have just been able to pick your link up right there. This thing does have a thing. We have more eligible folks, new and unused. Grid Fox. I had a feeling you would be the winner. Second, <coughs> excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, yeah. Lab. In potion, you didn't review the track. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's definitely like it does its job, like design wise. The track sounds kind of spacey. The track, you didn't hear it? They're making an omelet. Ah. The, the track has alien noises. You know, it it speaks to you know as I said in chat, it speaks to like a Metroidy thing. Um, I know it's not just that. Like I know there are other aliens and things like that, but I kind of want ah here we go. Trying to use sense and pure data. I want to know more about pure data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about I know I know about it. I've done a couple of things with it, but that's really cool. Looking at old electronic techniques. <laughs> just, I, my, it's my understanding that Ian is just, you know, it's like son of, you know, Armenians. Son of Armin. Metroidian. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it sounds like a space station, might sound. It's got its own kind of color, you know, um, I think for the length of the piece, maybe, and this might be just because if you're rendering it from pure data, but you could, there's like a lot of opportunity for random things and dynamic things, you know, like a step, footstep, sound. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's like, I don't know, I'm very curious about your synth, your synth building this. Cause I've been I've been facing I've been facing that issue a lot lately. Like what to what to study on the show, where to take it, where to take this stream. And right now we're trying to do review, but as T Mad points out, I'm just like all over the place. I mostly have a hard time keeping track. Let's roll it. You've won. <clears throat> Good. Everyone. Maleficat the Mad Cat. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was you. You've been following us for over a year. Thank you so much. Um, do you have any tracks? I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my 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 thoughts out. Pure data is equal to hell. They we're going to assign pure data to hell. I think is what that is. <sighs> okay. Okay. Wait. What? Perhaps. A song that I cannot for the life of me figure out what to do with. See, this is this should be what we're here for. You can enter by typing you won, but Ben was rolling way too fast for some reason. <laughs> Elsie, if you're if you're here for that, absolutely. I'm keeping an eye out on, on tracks. Uh, how about this? I won't I won't play it. But I will play it. Bleed binary. Track submit. I don't have anything to show off. Yes, we covered this recently. I don't know what more we have. I mean, I'm curious about what chat what chat thinks. I know we had comments flying during the course of the song. <clears throat> but I really just want to know about how you did it. Max MSP. I th both of these things don't make a lot of sense to me. Max MSP, Pure Data, Blueprints. Uh, what is that one unity called? Playmaker? 
like visual based scripting is it's pretty rough visual based programming um it's not impossible but it's rough it's rough for me from just doing a pop oh no it's gone chat's gone everything's back we're good um i lost chat i can still see it but you know Oh, ah. Let's see. No, but I have my new album. What? Oh, you made it with the Game Boy. It has nothing to do with the stream. Give him a specific length of time after you roll. Oh, okay. Well, it's hard to it's hard to get the it's hard to get the pace, I think working on it. Also, I'm trying to figure out what the most constructive things to say are. Because um, everybody's at a different place. And, you know, and who the heck am I? You know? <laughs> um, this is one of the reasons why it's hard for me to get Ravi on the show. He's like, well, who the heck are you to be talking about other people's tracks? But really, like, if you're an internet musician, like, this is appealing just because there are people who are interested in hearing and giving feedback. It's so hard to get people to click on your your Reddit posts, right? Yeah. So just any old advice. So the main thing, Mac64, just play more with space. <clears throat> and I don't know if that's an easy thing to do with pure data, but maybe look into algorithms that can kind of offset the phase of some of your s generators, some of your sig signals. I mean, of course, panning, but then also, um, Try and figure out these weird algorithms like what is an occlusion sound, you know? I think I need to roll again. But I have Eurobleed beta by um by somebody. <laughs> I think it's by chair. <laughs> wow. Okay. I just this is a heads up. It's a loud track. I think it's a loud track. So, I'm sorry. Holy. Okay. I tried to respond as fast as possible. <laughs> let's let's creep it back in.
Yo, thank you so much for that track. <clears throat> Charred as parody? Charred as parody. I can read. <laughs> Type track submit. Suddenly chemical plant. Um, so yes, definitely loudness. Um, I did bring in this page so you can talk a little bit about madness and this whole K scales and headroom thing. Um, it's another way of looking at kind of what we came across through one of Aetoric's tracks, right? Which was, you want to determine how much of a dynamic range, like the, the most quiet to the loudest sections of your song, you want to preserve. And not to push your track all the way up to that zero decibels line, like that, you know, redlining your whole track. That gives, you know, your ears a chance to kind of recover from being, you know, hit by sound waves. Your eardrums need a chance to recover. Depending on the genre, it's more appropriate to have very, very delicate sounds. Um, <laughs> play Sonic. Track submit. Let's get Night, ba ba not night Up Back Button. All right. And uh, we'll go with the keyword. I guess everyone's eligible. Why did, oh, because I'm stupid. Because I'm stupid. Um... They're a bunch of eligible people. Hopefully I didn't break a thing. Track submit, track submit, track submit. Everyone's got tracks to submit. Crap. Okay. Well, then we're going to do that. But yeah. You definitely want to, like, <laughs> use, like, everyone is saying, uh, use, like, side chain compression to kind of pump your track a bit. Um, we can demonstrate really rapidly how that works, but there are plenty of demonstrations of that online. Um, I don't know what tool set you're using, but we can do it kind of with anything. You could also make something that sounds like it if you don't have um, craft to submit, <coughs> according to Atoric. Oh, I can take... Okay, okay. Yeah, let's look at you. You're not on here. Um, just do it. Roll it. No one's eligible. I'm totally messing this up. <laughs> All right. Who will type it? I'm trying not to mess with the rules too much here. <laughs> no one can win. Everyone was eligible a second ago. I had to reload the page. Ah, crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so please submit your crap um, here. I think it just takes that. No? Oh, it does take it. Let me roll it in my thing. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Actually, forget forget that I did anything. I will close Nightbot's thing. <laughs> the winner is James Rogers 25. Um, I do have a special track by the Mad Maleficat. Um, oh, I should be following. Anyway, you should be following as well. There's a new Mad Cat album coming around the way. But, James Rogers, we need a track. Dr. A Dr. Egg on live music. Hello, all of you people. Welcome to the stream. Um, we're Mint Potion. My name is Angry Crow on the internet. Um, we are listening to music from the community and talking about these different... Uh... No, I did not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. My second latest orchestral track. I would send you my latest, but it was covered in dog tracks. Ah. Critique for future reference. All right. Epic desert music. <laughs> do 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 do. But, you know, we come here for exclusives, to talk to each other, to listen to the music. We make good music here. It's a nice studio. James Rogers. Excuse me. I think I turn it off. Thank you. 
I had no idea. I mean, why would you bat rad why if it's that bad, why would you bother writing notes manually? Not to lock this up a minute. Critique crazy bus. This has been a crazy critique. Uh, whatever qu qu quorum. If that's a word, I think it is. Um, <clears throat> crazy bus plays randomized notes every time, so it has a chance of being good. <laughs> yes, very good feel. I don't know the name of the scale, but it's some kind of. Uh, I want to say like Hungarian or kind of like. It's like that that the Hebrew tone, like a lot of uh, a lot of notes, a lot of a lot of a lot of half steps. It's like a half. The James Rogers scale. <laughs> I can't remember. We can we can go discover it. I really, I don't believe that this keyboard is going to work if I open up live, <laughs> but I do want to show you. Um, it is Hungarian. Yeah. I do want to show you something that you might benefit from that you probably already know about um that i get dinged on every month and it's really a simple thing um that i picked up from jake and other people <laughs> have proven this to be true so if you have like a string sound bum 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 bum, bum. Like you. Perfect. <clears throat> of course you don't work. I can't do a demo if this thing doesn't do its job. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Okay. Gosh, is there any way that I could get this to like, just for like five seconds? Just like. But it done. That is some, that is some, 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 that's some, that is some suck. Double harmonic minor, what, 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 we're talking about scales. Are we ready for another one? Yeah, um, I mean, just a second, I really want my MIDI keyboard to work. <laughs> like, I'm really disappointed that it's not working. And I feel like at any second, like, there's going to be some kind of, like, Static electricity. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. I'm gonna stop battling that. The winner is Mech 64. I'm ready. So anyway, I can't get my I can't get my demo working. What did you do? How did you generate that? <sighs> T Mat has this strange ability to figure out how how it worked. Did you enter again? Or is my giveaway delayed? Just one more for me. Okay, so everything's in order. Epic Desert Music. Hungarian scale is good. What I wanted to show you, and you probably know about this, is how do I like break this out into like a thing that makes sense? So I've got. Even if I have my attack. Like, if I have a regular legato sound, which is useful for, like, those longer sections, what you want... Oh, my goodness. Is... Something on top of that. We're adding to that envelope. So, the staccato noise will hold that. Introducing that note, and the legato kind of carries it through. This is important because if my MIDI controller were working, because you can use the. I guess I'll just macro it out for now. <laughs> so we'll sometimes even like contact is this type of thing. Having that attack at the beginning in the same patch kind of gives you the flexibility of having that um, that first voice um, 
<coughs> or having like the punchiness of like an envelope, like a synthesizer. As well as being able to lean back into your into your controller. Instead of switching between different articulation modes, as you might do with like a lot of contact instruments have um, key switches, so you can press the key to switch the articulation type. Um, this is a method that I've witnessed a lot and didn't make a lot of sense to me until the last couple months. But just stacking that staccato type noise on top of a legato. Yeah. It's much more natural. Even with like full, like built in Ableton stuff, right? And then of course moving like your motion for that for that legato sound for that solo like sound that carries to like another knob so you can kind of play a solo instrument a little bit more a little bit more confidence so sorry I'm trying not to get too distracted east west yes <sighs> someone else's mic is coming through on the stream I believe that's just Matt and my mic is super hot and you can just hear me um, try and you can hear this Matt over here with Boba. That's okay. <clears throat> I read the instructions. All right, so Mech 64 is next, I believe. And we're talking about... Did you enter again? Give away. Hey, cool. Yes, okay. I read the instructions. You read the instructions. Ah. Epic desert music. Epic, I don't know, desert music for sure. Um, I don't know. If I can't tell if it's supposed to loop or, um, I know I already opened their link. I'm on top of it, Team Adam. Just like, I'm trying to have like a closing thought about James Rogers' track. By the way, if you know, you should subscribe to James Rogers on, on everything. Because he's pretty cool. <clears throat> it, this is it. Is this it, Void? Our next track? <laughs> I'm sorry. Team Ed is ahead of time. It's fine. News of ah, see, I didn't even I didn't even catch these details. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to go fast. It is necessary to proceed rapidly. All right, just for safety. Even though I don't imagine this will be an issue. From the congratulations, E. Free. This is uh, somebody. What is your name? Is it you? Mega 64? Mega 64? Mega 64. Thank you. 
That's very mature. <coughs> Mega 64. Mega 64. Mega 64. Really happening movement from one side to the other. Thank you, TMAD, for the visualizer. <laughs> Creates masterpiece. Um, the piece between, like, or the as the as the piece moves, Mega Sixty. Sorry, Mecha Mech Sixty Four. Close enough. The, as the piece moves between <coughs> Mega Sixty Four is a super low old group. They sell hats now um, and shirts, I think. The winner is Angry Crow. Yes. <laughs> Dragon Life Music. Have you brought any music for us to listen to today? I will try and use the visualizer from now on. Um, and you can probably resubmit all tracks if you if you want it to visual visual aid. <coughs> yeah. I just want to say, Mech 64, really good work. Please post your link. I'm watching chat. You're watching chat while chatting, watching the chat, chat, something like that. Um, follow, follow Adam, Adam on, on, on Bandcamp. I did. This is a really interesting track. I really like how music can dilate time. Or the perception of it. And up until the point after the voice. Like, it does feel like it really expands into the void. So is this it void? You know, I don't, <laughs> just because we're online and on Twitch, I don't want to get to the point where we are, um, what is this? This a big smoke. All right. We'll just, we'll all zone out together. But yes, my, my point is good composition. You went from, you went from somewhere to somewhere else with like very distinct tones and space and textures. And I am not high. Why do you keep telling me that? I should be high, then I would probably like make more sense. You know where it is. <coughs> Boba, where's the weed? All right, I'm gonna turn this down. Just, just to be safe. No offense. Okay.
human vape trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. I think we're. Oh no no, you must stop. This is not your turn. OMFG Dex. Doctor Argon, this is a pretty good truck. I don't know a lot about dubstep, but you got to pick some good sounds. And that was way good. I agree. Saturn is good. Boba is good. Yeah. But I bet you dogs <laughs> never heard of it. You catch that rat? <laughs> so. Catch that mile? Dice speakers are the future. Have you seen hemisphere speakers? They're like six channel, like, or semi, half spheres. I don't know. They're pretty cool. <clears throat> They use them in like laptop orchestras. Uh, that's a very like academic thing. I don't see a lot of people using these things like outside of the context. But they're so cool, right? Like, like why would you? How would you? How do you not want one of these? I kind of want to build one just to just to have one. Uh, of course you got your dude. Uh, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. Don't you just, don't you just want one of these? I think everyone has to build their own. You have this weird six channel, you know, basic laptop orchestra speakers. How cool is that? Good track. I, what do we do? What do we do with this big? Sp what I picked the wrong house. Kick I'm in kick stream this. You're back on Mint Potion. Welcome to a little help with stream this, Boba. This is my impression. Hello, hello, meow. Sup, Mad Cats. Stream this. Welcome back. Uh, we shouldn't have to reload these days. It's the future. Thank you for following me back, Mad Cats, and and Doctor Argons. Cool tracks. Ah, oh, yes. So what was I saying? Uh, accentuates, like that kick. All of those things in unison in the sub. Your sub's gonna get a lot of love out of <laughs> of being with that kick. There, I know there are times when not to. Like dub music just kind of has like a bass going nuts. And to that end, you probably don't even need, like, a really deep kick. You can probably get away with just kicking the crap out of everything with your sub and having the click, like, the EDM part of it do its thing. Should we listen to Mad Cat's track? It's a preview, and it has nothing to do with this stream. We have track submits. Mint option. I'm not even subscribed to this channel. I'm such a loser. Commands, remove how to submit. The winner is Team Ad Party Blue. I don't know where these roles are coming from, so we're just gonna. Um, how much is a laptop orchestra speaker? I'm pretty sure you have to build them yourself, but I also think it's like a couple hundred bucks. You need this particular deck, like this thing, this six channel uh, digital to analog converter thing. That's the trick. Um, how much do you cost? Amped up hemisphere. I need something. I'm gonna skim through this and be like, show me, show me the cost, bro. Go Wong. How old is this article? Jeez, 2014? It's like the Stone Ages. Oh, yeah. I love the idea, though. You're definitely gonna need some kind of power amp that's like pretty configurable. Can anyone tell me how much this costs? I mean, I guess you, you know, most of the time build them yourself. But I still think it's going to run you maybe five or six hundred US. Uh, uh, probably. And that's without all the cool modifications. But look, everyone's standing next to their orbs. <clears throat> it's a clever idea. We should yeah, all have them. Sure well, the thing is, you have six channels, so now you have to, like, Stereo image is nothing. You just direct sound. <laughs> What's this? 
I'm using a Chrome extension called Twitch Giveaways. Oh, powerful orbs. I don't know, that's the thing to rec that I recommend. I want to see somebody who's like past the Princeton Laptop Orchestra. Boba, come here. Yeah. Come with me, dogs. Yes. I want to see somebody using that, you know, outside of the academic field. Four channel is better. Four channel. I got you, my little cat. Uh, yes, collab dog. It is time for Boba, the collaboration hound. Boba, you will pick the next song. That's right. How many streams have dogs on them? Right, Boba? Oh, that's cute. Your mouth smells like a dog's mouth. Don't kiss me, man. Know where that tongue's been? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Who's got the track? It is Team Ad. Dog. I clicked your thing. There we go. What else you got? Twitch giveaway extension guide. See, I just need to pay attention. Look, he even submitted this track like 20 minutes ago. I'm looking at chat in the past. How to submit? I don't know. Re-review my thing. Do you ever heard? We review anything. Just uh, get ready to to submit tracks. I've already I've already submitted. I went first because I'm because I'm selfish. <clears throat> oh, okay. I mean, if the stream was down, there's a chance I might have seen it. Um. Yeah, we wanted to know, Dra Dragon Live. How did you make your dubstep tracks? Some good stuff. He'll get you a six-channel semi-speaker. We use synths. We use samples. We use stuff. Submit your music. We're going to listen to it. And then everyone in chat's going to be like, oh, dang, or oh, dang. Both are acceptable. I'm going to listen to Team Ad's guitar interlude work in progress. Because I should. Because he's next. That's fair. It's only right. He's been here. Everyone, you know, is there like a clap emoji or something I can use? Like a, like a... Hands like pause maybe. Uh, hand. What? Oh, there you go. It's perfect. I don't know what this means. Anyway, listen to his music. Everyone, you know, thanks. Listen, thank Team Ad so much for holding this together and trying this out and bringing people out of Discord and back into Discord. And just back to Discord and back away from Discord. We're up again. Excellent. So we're listening to this to this dude's track. And, uh... Yeah. Look up Seamless R. What? Oh, interesting. That's not what you use for... I'm not, I'm just gonna stop getting I'm gonna say, who do you use for, the, like, the video that's generated that has, like, the spectrogram and stuff? James Rogers' song. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to this.
Timon's the type of dude that uh, knows texture to death. He sits there and he's and he and he and he listens for that those interesting partials and timelines. And whoa, it's not done. No, it doesn't do. No, not do. This is somebody else. We're doing pretty well on time. We've only been up for about an hour. No, two, three fifteen to five fifteen. That's two hours. I don't know. There's a button for that. It's called uptime. I think is how it works. Eight minutes and fifty six seconds. We're stuck in a time here, docs. That's not true. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that we have enough time to get everyone in and good. I still have a track from Maleficat, the Mad Cat, which I mean we're absolutely open to talk about. Uh, T Man, yeah. what do I say about your track, man? Like, get more synthesizers. Get one really good one. I think he's got. No, he's got. Like, he's got some good stuff. All you need is absinthe and serum. Absinthe and serum. I think all you need is like a Matrix Brute or like a, <laughs> you know, something something crazy. I don't know. Get more synthesizers. Everyone should get good. He's got serum. Okay. I've never used serum, but I like the mini brute. I think that's a good sound. Strixie, you won. Post the link. Life hard style. This is Turbo Life. You guys are just pushing back. You know, our French cat friend. You know, they, that's I, I find I find that mean. I don't know. It's okay. Well, I think we can end the stream listening to the Mad Cat. Maleficat. Malefica. Alright, Turbo Frequency. This time I'm gonna start <laughs> I'm gonna start playing nine first. Probably. Welcome, a legend from the north. He is Turbo Frequencer. Sir. progress life hard i want that drop like turbo frequency you got me you got me thinking about where you know how are you gonna make me dance you remind me a lot of cameron the dude who hangs out here um two songs in one <laughs> that's not that's not the same person is it no, this is just somebody who's in that in that domain in that hard style where live live Okay, James Rogers has his link already. That's good. Please critique my mixing and mastering. My first attempt at actively trying to master a fart noise. And we're back. Hi. There it is. Hey, welcome back. This is my radio voice. I only sound this way because I can hear myself, and that makes me self-conscious. But at least I mumble slightly less. Let's continue. 
It's a plot of the dog. Jim Rogers is ready. Stream down. I went for it. I can actually confirm that the stream was down. It's hard to tell. Um, anyway, the point I was trying to make is yes, until you're ready to finish the track. Don't. Work on something else. <clears throat> Unless you, like, have to, have to. But that's actually a rare. You should enjoy making music. Sudden Radio Voice. Yes, that's right. My name is Beaker Sullivan. Let's listen to James Rogers, Synthwave, Cathode Rays. We're going to talk about how you're supposed to mix and master this track. Um, mainly that means one of two things. A, is it loud enough? We're going to try it down at 50% of your computer's volume to see if we can actually hear all of the parts that we're meant to hear. That is the first trick in mastering. Can I hear all of the stuff at multiple levels? Second trick. Is it clear and interesting and pretty much that's it you know and there are a lot of means of coming about that but <clears throat> yes keep your track submits handy that's you Strixie TV and James Rogers and the other folks who are here thank you so much for my radio voice <laughs> um, let's get plan 9 up let's get synth wave up I really should listen to this playlist there was a whole attempt thing going on here Okay, good, I'm already following you. I like that right there. <clears throat> this this the feeling of um hold on, I'm not done with you. The feeling of it kind of being in reverse. It's like very, very heavy tied chain, you know. We're talking about V flats, dominant seven. That's a cool song. It's a cool song. That's a bad too. Um, so this is kind of the tricky thing with mastering. Like, you're not gonna be able to tell based on my terrible signal chain if that was mixed too loud. <laughs> I would, I would kind of guess not because w before everybody else died, because I have a bunch of things down the line that are adjusting the levels and mixing things. Um, but on my end, it sounded pretty great overall. <clears throat> um, not mud, not, you know, not a problem. Whoa, the title is ADD Drive Tracks. Okay, it's the, we need to disable the dashboard, submit your music for review, because track review stream, yeah. Um, let's see. Pardon. They want to hear what we're talking about oh, here. That's it's a, yeah. It's a barbecue. barbecue. Did you find? Is are you stoned? Is that what happened? 
<laughs> Nothing. Hey, look at this guy. Pimp in the Mint Potion Discord on his track. I wanted to listen for a particular thing here, because they're talking about the structure of the song a bit. And I kind of got lost in it. Like, we're talking about... Like, everything was living in key. Everything was legal. What is this? Can I have a riot too? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so I like the reverse drums. I lose track of so much of this track. Dang, look at all these bits. T T Mad is the fifteen hundred bit right. This is amazing. Um. <laughs> yeah, everything's everything's fine right now. Um, T Mad is throwing us mad bits, which is really, really nice. Like I got nothing to say except wow. You just drop the bits, man. What are bits? Bits are like a micro tip system that they introduced to the Twitch a couple months back. Um I think. I don't know. We haven't cashed any of that out. There might be like hundreds of bits just kicking around somewhere. I don't know. I think it's like uh it's a couple bucks. Like fifteen hundred is probably like ten or fifteen bucks. Might be a bit. Might be like in the neighborhood of a yen. I don't know. So we got this chord progression. Ooh, it opens up. Does it repeat? No. I guess you know there isn't much to focus on in terms of melody. Yeah, okay, so I'm about right. There's one person who's given, I think, five bits um, in a recent stream, or maybe ten. Very vaporesque. You know, I like these words that we use to describe music these days. I, I think it's fitting. So, yeah, the word is yen. Essentially, yeah. It's about a yen. Um, that's where the wave part comes from. It's definitely. Team Ad 40 Blue's the winner! We're gonna listen to some Team Mad 40 Blue. Of course, he has a track ready to go. God, <laughs> you're just gonna you're just gonna stop. Uh, everyone, follow James Rogers on SoundCloud. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I guess in that genre, there isn't much in the way of. Gosh, this guy just makes a track all week, all day, every day makes a track. Since we, it doesn't have much in the way of like a focus. Like I'm not gonna be able to hum along. Uh, to a lot of the songs that were in that composition. I guess it's more about the vibe, you know? Um, what is this? Test number eight. Track submit, track submit. Who votes the votesman? Thank you so much. Oh, man. <clears throat> this probably doesn't mean much, but very vaporesque. How does it mean? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna break this up. Can't do two, two team ads in a row. I do have a test track from the Mad Cat. You should subscribe to the Mad Cat on. What? <laughs> what?
what the heck are you doing here? That's pretty cool. I thought you were gonna like continue doing crazy arrangements and stuff like as you go, but I guess this is just a preview. So I'm very curious. I've never used LSDJ. I think I've used samples from it, but I've never actually messed with the tool itself. And I've seen a couple of people who are messing with it. Ah. Lol is for lol. Yeah, it's actually pretty clever. <clears throat> LSDJ for Game Boy. I've seen a copy of it kicking around the building, but uh, yeah. Guns. yeah. I haven't, I haven't, have you messed with it? You would mess with it if they mod Game Boy to have RCA app with wired controls. Oh, uh, yeah. So they can do a direct live capture of it. And then they do, I've seen people do shows with that thing. Yeah. You know. Totally man, you know a guy we used to work with at Wayport. He did a show on it. It's cool. I mean. It makes a, it makes the good noises. It's also pretty, like, useful. It's cheaper than a, than a Teenage Engineering LP1. And, uh, it's, it's clever. I mean, especially something that has so few visual distractions, you really have to, like, make adjustments with your ears, you know? And I think that that's one of the, the bigger strengths of anybody who's doing, like, tracking, tracker-style music. You don't have, like, all of the flashy VU meters and all of this cool crap, right? You don't have this stuff to, like... Oh, wow, y yes, my... The track is very green. It's getting more green. That must mean it's, you know, in the right place. So, like, if you're looking at, like, a spectrum, right? <clears throat> OP1 for Christmas, please send. Everybody wants an OP1, but nobody wants to buy one. It's like the iPad 2. Like, I already have an iPad 1. How much was the OP1? $900. Or three payments of 299 which I'm deeply considering, but I can't afford that for a while. So, <laughs> everyone agrees, though. Everybody, you know, I'd, that, if I had an Oprah moment, I would just give everybody in the audience an OP1, and then we'd have to have, like, a really big stream so then I could go broke, you know? Um, Link Waker 10, hey, you made it just in time. Um, I'll be your friend, Angry Crow. I, I look like this when I chat. And, uh, crap, that's not me, that's been potion, no! Um, anyway. And, I guess I'm both at the same time. The, uh, let's see. I would say, is it difficult to, I don't know, to mix? Like, I want to hear, let's see, because I have, alright, so I have a track from Mad Cat. I have another track from T-Mad, but I want to go to this remastered track by Mad Cat because it's using the same tool set and I feel like because it's not a work in progress it will be a little bit stronger demonstration of what LSDJ does. I could be wrong but I have a theory. So stick with me. I'm going to get plane 9 up and I'm going to see you in chat because that's what this is.
That was mad. That is definitely it kind of like it, it, it stood up to my my my, my theory. <clears throat> the difference between the demo track and the track that's going out on 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 Mad Cat's new tape. <clears throat> it's huge, and I wonder what those steps are. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> the sky is nerd blue. Check out the instructions on how to submit. Is this original work? Jake lets us play Game Boy music at Mint Potion. <clears throat> Absolutely, but very you know you have to wear headphones because the Game Boy is not particularly friendly to audio. <clears throat> Four voices. What? Oy. Uh, it doesn't have any crazy sound extensions. I don't know, actually. I think even you can't provide a critique. We all can, and it provides a platform for that. I mean, actually, I definitely appreciate hosting that. If everyone's willing to come by and, you know, be nice to each other and constructive about, you know, listening to each other's music and sharing stuff. I mean, James Rogers putting down putting down the helpful law there's a new captain in town and it's james rogers it's very good stuff yeah <clears throat> and i guess that's okay you know because everyone will see my face if i say like you know what i have to ah Okay, so there is a there is a process. I see, I see, I see. Is the stream still is the stream dead and I'm just like out of it? Is that <clears throat> I think it's okay. Excellent. Yes. No, Plane Nine is a great visualizer. <clears throat> I do wanna understand it better and make custom shaders and things for it. Everything's good, everything's fine. Um Let's see. It's all. It's 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 interesting. It's it's. We're talking about dance music. We're talking about dog music. Boba, Boba, come here, man. What do you think about this song? Would this even make you be friends with a cat? Do you ever think about that? You're afraid of the cat. You're afraid of the cat? Oh, girl. I can see why this dog looks kind of like a chicken. All right, dog. Let's see. But yeah, get yourself get yourself <laughs> get yourself an LSDJ doggy. Good doggy. I need a cat to show up on stream. I think that would make the show a lot more popular. For now we have the mad cat. <clears throat> and that does wonderfully. Um in the interim, I can say I look forward to the rest of your tape. I hope we all get to hear it. I hope you post it in Discord. Um I got notifications. Let's follow bleed bleed binary. Um, I have a team ad. What is this? What is this? Anyway, I have another team ad track to hold us over. If you haven't, um, wait. How do I how do I do this again? <clears throat> it's like how to submit or something like that. Yeah. Please submit your music for a review. <clears throat> Mad Cat knows what's up. I guess we do track submit, and then you'll be picked at random by the bot. If you're picked, we'll post your link. <clears throat> Please, original music only. Um, let's, uh, I guess, listen to Team Mad 40 Lose next track. Follow this guy on SoundCloud. He's really good. He's really good. He's really good at rocking Discord operations. He's really good. At, <clears throat> at everything. Oh, I got messages. Nice. Works okay. Yes, works okay. <clears throat> um, I guess I'll just get this going, and then I'll watch chat. Never. What? I have your track to play. I wanted for you to play mine to draw the next person. Gotcha. I see. I'm way behind. As ever. Thank you so much. Let's keep going.
B flat minor 29 by T Mad 40 Blue. Um, <clears throat> very happening track. Very good, strong sections. Um, I don't know what this is, but uh, make sure you follow this guy. I like that track. It's good. I have this new playlist I'm working on. It's um, non rapper nerds. It's kind of music that I'm being exposed to through my mint potion experience. It's not nerdcore rap. What kind of music is it? Just like non rap, like nerd music. Bunch of nerds. What makes a nerd remove the lyrics? I know a nerd that made it. Or it's kind of like a video game sounding kind of, you know. Post that link, yo. What? 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 Yeah, Link Waker, post that link. I don't think he's talking to me. Ah! Oh. Ooh. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, I guess but you could really do a lot. I think if you were to teach or demonstrate, I mean, you demonstrate this a lot in your music, but to to say something about how you're taking this chord progression, right, and you're ending it in different ways to allow you to kind of keep repeating it, right? Right. So it's like eight bars, maybe. Right. It's like eight bars and that second repetition like you have your kind of your first idea in the first half right or the first two da da like we're framing the key and then you give yourself some space to express yourself in like oh this happens but then there's another version of this ba ba that kind of leads into the repetition of the loop that's a very like uh what's the guy's name it's a very like dead mouse kind of tactic it's like, I, the thing about your music team out is I know you know what you're doing. That's all I got to say. Take that as you will. Presence for days. By somebody else. Let's follow this person. <clears throat> so, you're the winner, Link Wicker. Will that work? I don't know. Is this your track? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, right? Loves no. It's just you can tell that as as much as he experiments, there is an air of he's got to get he's got to get to he's got to get to a sensible place. Everything has a purpose um, with Dead Mouse's music, and I think T Mad shares that very very well. And it results in something that's kind of minimal minimal yet rich. You know, if you could describe somebody's music, if you're trying to be nice. You know, just describe somebody's music like they might see themselves in a uh, horoscope newspaper section, you know, um, long yet concise. <laughs> but I will say, um, insofar as, you know, you're wearing your, 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 your influences on your sleeves and you're also just making jams because you can, like, the depth to which you feel something, it's like, it doesn't matter. You just like to make music. And then the individual expression itself, it doesn't matter. Hey! Anyway, let's move on. Because you're going to make something that grooves with somebody. Do I need a chord to progression? Um, not really? You don't think so? Oh, the dog. Uh, maybe? But hey, it's made in the last week during my downtime. I feel you. Let's listen to presets for days. I link Waker 10. It's 42 seconds long. Do I have time to get plane 9 up? I don't know. How low is that volume? Let's keep it at a safe 50%. Go, plane. Go faster.
I kind of want to use this as the beginning of like a like a like a fighting like a fighting show, like the beginning of a game or like a show where like there's this kind of weird battle, right? Three warriors found themselves on the final moon, looking for truth. They battle. And it's like a, this is like the way you see the roster of each character. It's Boba in the left corner. Arya in the right corner. Dog battle. Moon dog battle. <laughs> so I kind of agree. Do 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 do. I just, I think Link Waker 10, what I'm thinking is moon dog battle. Just go all the way to the moon with those moon dogs. Um, then they have to be moon dogs, otherwise it's like kind of cruel, I think. Doesn't it remind you of like a, like a, like a, like a King of Fighters intro or something like that? It's kind of like a Neo Geo sound, you know? For sure, for sure. I guess we could talk about chord progression and modulation. I got a track from Maleficat. Malefica. I was waiting for another track to come through. I will not say anything about that last delirious cat posting once a month thing. So what's going on here? Is it you? Okay, so wait, who won? What's going on? Hold on. <clears throat> to the moon. I'm a little bit confused about, let's see. Dogs to the moon. Exactly. You got it. <clears throat> so it's a good jam. We don't know who's up yet. Uh, the winner is Strixie. Sweet. So now I have to go find Strixie's link. I've actually finished a track and forgot to do this mastering. Another hard style track from Turbo Frequency. Here we go. All right. Well, we can use how to submit. If you don't know how to submit a track, if you're new to this channel, then copy and paste what TMAD wrote. It looks something like this. It'll give you directions. Track submits will add you to the list of people who will be drawn from the list. Chat is moving fast. It's like there are actually people watching. It feels amazing, um, more or less. So what we'll do, this track was not found. What is this? And I think that's like, I think that's, that's, I have no idea what's going on here. Did we get, did we get trolled? What's going on here, man? Are we into like weird, weird SoundCloud? Is that what I'm looking at? Okay. Well, I can't obviously play that track. Whatever. <clears throat> so, hey. I don't know what that is. So, that's okay. You are the guy. There we go. I think you are next. Awesome, thank you. Hello and welcome. Initiate startup process. Okay. Digital oh crap, I'm not ready for this. Go. The world turns and we turn with it. Plans disappear.
happens when we turn with it. Dreams take over. That was so cool, I forgot to turn my mic off. Hard style. What is <clears throat> what is hard style? Is that the is that just the 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 straight the power rock, paper, scissors technique? <laughs> what? Tomaki's all dirty. I guess we have to hang out for a minute because Tomaki's here. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Hey, who do we have on the list? Who's here in chat? How's it going? Thank you so much. The many folks. Some new, some unfamiliar. If I'm familiar with you, then get over into Discord. Um, <sighs> Euphoric genre. Okay. The kick. Boba. Dog style. I'd say the kick is what makes the track. Okay, okay. <clears throat> hmm. So it's just, yeah, it's just the constant, the constant, just blah, blah, blah. Kind of like what people were saying in the, in the chat. That, that kind of makes sense. It's like a hard style thing. Like happy hardcore is like the super, the super fast version of that, right? Um. It's really difficult to navigate genres because we use all of these code words and these keywords to kind of get into like, well, you don't know what that, what that, you know, whatever what was it, what was like witch step or something like that a couple of years back. I'm talking about witch core. The kick is pointing to Gabber, a very heavily modified 909. Hmm. Witch house. Yeah, exactly. This is the thing. Is there so many? Um, that is an exclamation. There you go. You got it. Um, yeah. No, Witch House. There are a lot of different. There are a lot of different kind of corners of of music that have a very specific name. Mainly, so you can find it. I mean, in the case of Witch House, a lot of the artists design themselves to be difficult to search for, which I think is really clever. But I don't understand. Yes, what even a subgenre is at that point. It's like it's all. Various subgenres of electronic dance music. Because they're electronic and you dance to them. McPherson sounds like everybody's off at work. Is there a witch wave? I don't know. We could try a witch wave, um, we could try a witch wave compo. I don't know what this week's, um, tournament actually is. This week's tournament, one hour competition. If I can find that, then I think we'd be in a good spot. Memes, uh, it's somewhere in here. Let's see. This is where it goes down, the Bard Council. What is this? What? Oh, it's a serum holiday present. Interesting. It's like a wave table that where the table is a snowflake. That's cute. The whole club is here. That's right. All of the regulars. What the crap? A synth, a program, the motivation. <laughs> uh, Tomaki, are you qualified yet to answer your question from six days ago? I'd say you're about halfway there. Uh, let's see, let's see. Review, re reviewing music. I don't have much to say. We convinced, uh, you know, I just want to hear more music. 
Team Ad's just right. So what you're supposed to do is listen to Team Ad when he comes up with something, and then do it, and get on with your damn life. That's all I ask. Night driving. Glenn Tyre, are you in chat? You are. Welcome. I feel like it's missing something. Let's all, um, is this person in the thing? Did they win the thing? <laughs> hey, awesome. Should I link it now? Yes, I think so. Team Ad is always correct sometimes. Absolutely. Um, Team Ad is right about Plane 9, which is the visualizer we're using. I would do advertisements for them, but, you know, you know, whatever. Just get it. I think it's free or something. Um, this is a three-minute track. We're going to kick it back into the safety zone. Um, and I'm just going to play it. We're just going to talk about it. Homeboy, Glenn Ty doesn't know what to add to this track. Maybe we can come up with something that would be good for this thing. Um, I'm the only person whose voice you can hear right now, but if you do want to get into the chat, there's a Discord. It's pretty good. Um, I like it. Let's listen to this thing. Whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa. There's planes. Let's go to plane three. Plane 3 really isn't as good as Plane 9. Glenn's High, your night driving track. It's pretty fresh. You should have been here in the Discord. You could have been. Oh, goodness, I'm so sorry, man. You should have been here. You should have been here for a synth wave or, like, was it retro chord synth pop? I don't know, man. But it was a good thing. It was a thing. And, uh, let's see, what is this? 
talking about the history of hardcore music. Thank you, and welcome. It's a nice place. We've got good people. A lot of the people you'll see in this chat, you might see in that Discord. And we continue to discuss uh, music and, I think, food and probably um, robots, uh, memes, things like that. Um, things we're doing wrong. I want a whole bunch of that. That's a suggestion box. It mostly works, except for when it doesn't. Um, much like TMAD is pretty right until he's not. But I'm actually afraid, um, you know, he's the guy. Um, let's see. What to say? It's a very smooth track. I think that the lead, like, that arpeggiating, like, this guy, I can just, I can just bring it up. It's like a try, it's a saw. This guy. Like, I don't know if the piano loops that part earlier. But I would say some kind of like, some kind of, some kind of breakdown to give you a little bit more space. Cause the track isn't exactly ended. But you have symmetry there. And uh, I'm thinking you maybe want you maybe, you maybe want to try to try dropping things out, and letting like the reverb kind of roll and things like that. Um, D major double flat four. Wow, this is serious. We had a synthwave thing a few days ago. But wasn't there? What was like the? F I did one. I did one. <laughs> that was like the retro something. Retro retro core vapor bit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so out of it. I swear I'll be fine. Gated reverb is your man. Do we just is it just like every month there's a synth wave like challenge? It's a challenge. I remember it was a challenge. It was challenging. But yes. Something like that. New retro wave. The winner is Phil Aldis. Something's going on in general. Go to the stream. Where you can send your lucky track. And Gate of Reverb, yes, all right, making note of Gated Reverb. It makes the body of your snare, like right after that initial hit, <clears throat> way bigger. And then when your tail of the snare goes down, it cuts off the gate. The snare gates its own reverb, crazy. Post that link. I guess I could just grab the link, like it's right there, isn't it? Here we go, Paldus. He's a composer. I'm I'm kind of. It's a private track. It's a top secret track.
That's a lovely track. I still like more reverb tail. Just listen to that. I wonder <clears throat> the environment under which you in, you cre you record these things. Is it MIDI tracked or like super sharp piano? Also, was it way too quiet or I was gonna say it to the moon. <laughs> Inspired by the moon finding to the moon finding paradise. Okay, okay. Yeah, it definitely seems to follow some type of story of like reminiscence and then like some kind of loss and maybe like resolution, but it's still bittersweet. Like, ah, but I'm still sad about Boba. Yo. Interesting. You can sing it in a round. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Dogen, could you not actually hear it? I love all now. <laughs> There's a certain kind of peace. <clears throat> Good. It's very interesting how it's like evokes imagery, right? These types of things. <coughs> I don't know who's actually next. Um, or how much we have time for, honestly. Um, tell Jake that he needs to get a life because he's got the fish five. I think he <laughs> he's talking I think he's talking about uh I think he's talking about um I don't know, crazy Christmas music and also Hebrew music. Maybe coexisting. Mech 64 is next. They posted the link already. I believe I grabbed that link. This guy? Good, good, good. I'm on top of it. Um, I would love to vote for how many more tracks you would love to go through. I feel like I've been here for a minute. Another hour. Yet another hour is passed. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll carry it until like 7 my time. Another half hour or so. We got time. We'll figure it out. And besides, there are a bunch of people here. I'm, like, I'm pretty excited. You know? Okay, dinner time. See, if Dogen's leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, so we'll check this out. See you, Dogen three. You're you're a champion. Sooner probably end before I'm back. I, uh, yeah, maybe. Getting the gig on OKKO is nothing. Yeah, that's how you get the gig. Uh, you know, you pr you've produced music for twenty years, and then all you have to do at that point is just you know, you talk to this guy. It takes a little bit more work. From that point, you you know you're you're set. Um, about seven thousand songs, I think.
That's a lovely rendition <clears throat> of Glass Factory work in progress. Uh, come quite a ways, I think, compared to the, your last homework assignment that you showed or your first track that you showed. Um, it is definitely <laughs> the whole soundtrack of the recipe fireplace crackles. It's definitely, oh gosh, how do I put it? I, don't know, I guess it got a stronger response from chat. It seems like maybe it's, that is an indicator of a a deeper atmosphere. And it sounds like a lot of these, and you know, these two tracks of yours we've heard. It sounds like there is a lot of there's a lot going on live. Like things are kind of set into motion, whether that's like a, a like live coding or something of the sort, and um, or like you have controllerism. You know, like a MIDI interface setup. <sighs> Who is the winner? It's James Rogers 25. You need to, yeah, I think you need to send us off with something special. Um, <laughs> it's true. TMAD is not rigging anything until he is, which I can neither confirm nor deny because it is literally out of my hands. But hey, um, point being, thank you so much for submitting this track. I think on the next positive note, I'm gonna have to go, because I've been sitting here for a couple hours, and I too require bathroom breaks. I'm only half robot at this point, and uh, I hope for mine to come through anyways. Well, check the VOD, or you can check our YouTube channel for previous streams, because those usually go up. What's this? I'm kind of afraid. What? What? What is this? <laughs> I'm hoping you put in the other work in progress that all fit the theme together in some sort of collection. I think, yeah, I think you can manage that, definitely. You should look into, um, look into, look into Chuck, look into sound sculptures. I don't know what kind of school you're in for, but it seems like you're, you know, with pure data, that's like a pretty good high place to start um so yes discord where you can keep the conversation going and they also have video chat which we never actually use and tmad just put a whole bunch of robots and cool stuff there and there's a lot of conversation going on every day about games and music and other stuff and um james rogers wanted to play this there's a decent natural tune okay let's let's audition one and if it's not great then we're gonna then we're gonna use b there are also famous people in there Ooh, that's right. What's this? Ooh, it's a mini tracker. Huh? Yeah. That was cool. Who is that? James Rogers. It's coolness. All right. Look at this guy just using every tool possible. Can I get this on loop? Anyway, I just wanted to say. Uh, thank you everyone so much for hanging out with us today. Um, this has been a little help. You guys have been more than a little help. Um, doing the stuff. I think it's pretty cool. 
Play 9 just keeps serving up the visuals. I want to thank TMAD very much for throwing us all these bits and for really organizing this, you know, getting the random chat thing together. Um, thank you, thank you, James Rogers. Thank you, all of the submissions. Uh, hopefully, I followed you on SoundCloud, and that turns into you making more music and showing it to us. And I'm going to do this show every Tuesday I can. So I look forward to doing this again soon, and if not, I will see you in Discord, and you can park at me for not streaming there. Um, I've been your host, uh, Ben. You'll see me online as Angry Pro. Um, you're super cool. I'll see you next time. On a little help. On am potion. On, uh, oh crap, I'm stuck to the son of a... <laughs> it never goes right. It never, you know, the first time. It never, it never, you can't just... Get it.